Hi, and welcome to the Online Gamers Podcast, episode 134. Hi, hello, hi, hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the show. Cameron and Alex are sick. And Cooper might be, but I doubt it. No, I am. I just... We're not doing this again. Do <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so energy is low, but we're, con- we're continuing it on anyway. I am so glad it's hot today. I know this attitude's not going to last long, but I'm so glad winter's gone. Or at least mostly gone. It's probably going to get cold another time or two. Look, I just need it to stop this madness of, oh, look, pollen. Oh, look, we're freezing in. Oh, look, pollen. We're getting married. It's throwing. We are getting marinated, absolutely. Literally. This is literally Among Us problem. <laughs> that was me, Pony, I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> Alright, so, opening thoughts here. Uh, E3 is dead again. For the third time? That sounds about right. Uh, yeah. Did we have E3 last year? No, it was dead. No, it was dead, and then it came back, and then it died again, and then it came back, and then it died again now. I think. So maybe last year then, but it's it, it's been dead off and on. Well, by, com- by it came back, I don't mean it happened, but I mean they tried to bring it back. Like, it was officially uh, undead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I yes. think this is, yeah, so we called it last week. That Ubisoft leaving and all that stuff going on was probably the dagger, and it was. So, um, yeah, now it's just real, I guess. Sad. That is sad. You heard it here first. Get your rumors here. <laughs> Hot and fresh. Ooh. Off the press. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to go to. Game's done quick now for our cringe. Which one of my coworkers said he was going to shoot me some clips he knew of on Discord because I told him about the cringe hunt. So I'm expecting some really high quality stuff in my inbox later. Good chair. I will, yeah. I, I, I for sure will. We're just going to have to create a cringe shot. That's just what the Discord to contain is. it. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even joking. I'm just. I'm serious. No, I agree. With yeah, yeah. No, you're. You're right. We just have to containerize it. Uncharted. That's what it's for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's too toxic for the general public. It goes there. Uh, Marvel's Avengers final content update is out today. Makes nearly all paid cosmetics free. Man, that would have sucked to have bought that because they're definitely not going to give you your money back. Yeah. Oops. Well. Cool. Good for everybody who picks it up now. Bad for everybody who already owned it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo is now forced by law to repair out of warranty uh, Joy-Con drift for free in the UK and uh, mostly most of Europe, really. Switzerland, etc. Um, so, yay, Europe gets uh, something else that we don't get to have over here. How many times is this going to happen? Well, like... Since we started the show, how much shit have they gotten that we haven't? I, know. I feel like it's a lot. Yeah, I uh, I mentioned the podcast was today at work, and they're like, oh, what's on the docket? And first I did my usual, like, I actually don't know. Because <laughs> <no, laughs> we're, like, so on the spot. But uh, I mentioned this headline because I remember seeing it and putting it in the chat. And one of my coworkers was like, man, I wish they would do that here. My little brother has like five pair of Joy-Con that are all drift 
I think now. I think oh, most of mine back home are uh, now at least half drifting. Uh, if I had to guess, I don't know. I don't use them. I was just buying them to buy them. Hey, hold on. Yeah. I I only had the one pair drift on me, my OG pair, and then one of the white ones on the OLED like is screwing up with its rail connector. But yeah. I'm not exactly my... sure why. Is it like the photo I sent, or is it like just not holding anymore? Like, oh, it holds fine. Like, physically, you couldn't tell a difference, but it'll do that um, screen where you have to, like, select your controller or whatever, like, hit the LR combo you want, and it'll do it over and over again as if, like, the rail connection itself is intermittent. So that sucks, especially because they're the white ones. I like those ones. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, shocker, I guess if you live in Europe, have a, have a fun time with your working Joy-Con. Must be nice. Your working Joy-Con and your universal health care <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the two greatest benefits, free Joy-Con repair and health care. Healthcare for us and healthcare for Switch. For real. So even Switch gets free healthcare. But also, they lost to America in the in our first war. So like, who's the real winner? That was one country, yeah. not the rest of them. Which technically is no longer part of Europe. Oh, never mind. I mean, <laughs> legally anyway. The... Geographically, the they haven't. It, they haven't geographically. <laughs> They can't Why don't move we just yet. take England and push it somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Asia same thing everyone says about Florida. European. Yeah. Asia is European. That's not how that works. I think so. We're not a geography podcast. <laughs> nope. For good reason. Cooper doesn't know it. I was gonna say like yeah, dude, but no. Stick to um, cooking. Stick, stick to Kirby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Kirby. Stick to Speaking of Kirby, more Kirby games might get remade if developers can quote provide a new gameplay experience. This I tells might. me nothing. I hate Nintendo it... news. This is always Nintendo news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might do it if we can figure out how to do it differently. <laughs> Except in the case. Except in the case of Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. In which case, we will release... That was different, though. That was... Why? Because this Why Mario, they can sell it for the 30th. Every other series, they're like... Whatever. whatever. Mm -hmm. 30th was during the Wii U, and we got Mario Maker instead. We got a new game. Uh, so, yeah, Shocker, Nintendo might do something if they could figure out a way to do it differently again. Uh, the Super Mario movie comes out this week, I think, uh, tomorrow, yeah, right? The 5th? Yeah, yeah, yeah day yeah. of the podcast. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you can try to spoil it in our comments if you're listening to this after you've seen it. Uh, it's kind of hard to spoil something with Mario in it, though. Guys, he's a plumber. Bowser's in the movie. <laughs> so, I, I actually did find this out recently, though. The On their website, you know, the you can see Spike on mentioned a review. Yeah. One of the reviews, though, is the... Uh, Cooper, what was the thing you always liked on the Wii U? Um... Oh, the good-looking water guy? Yeah. It yeah. Was guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. On Meverse, there was a guy who just praised water all the time, so they referenced him on the review <laughs> page. 
that's funny. Yeah, it's it's good. Um, did do we talk about the fact that Chris Pratt said there's going to be a post credit scene for the movie? We already knew that. I'll tell you. I can tell you what it is from two years ago when we talked about. Rumors. Oh right, the leak. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the leak. Two years, not two years. Also, a year, maybe. Who cares? Ooh, this movie is gonna have a post-credit scene. <laughs> because we expect there to be a sequel, maybe. I can tell you I what mean, it will uh, be right this now. This movie will have at least one scene in it. <laughs> after the credits. No, we don't know Every about the rest Marvel of the movie. movie. For years. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's a... Uh... Mm. You know, maybe we don't want to say that on the podcast day of. Let people be surprised if they haven't heard the leak. Let's put it this way. If you know anything about Mario, you won't be surprised if the leak was real. Chris Pratt's face is actually getting digitized onto Mario. AI. Yeah, they move <laughs> it around on the screen like Mario 64. <laughs> Hate that. (laughs) (laughs) Huh. Um. Mario is moving away from mobile games. Reveals Miyamoto. Thank God. The two they've had. Yeah. What define moving away? We had Mario Run in what 2016. Yeah, yes. and then there so was seven Tor. years ago, and then there was Mario Kart Tour. Hey, and let's not Dr. forget Mario World. Doctor Mario World, the very it. short-lived three-stack Goombas. They are doctors. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> also, wasn't Chain Chomp uh, a doctor as well? I don't know, but who wasn't a doctor? Have... Toad never got to be a doctor. I don't think. Man, I don't Toda remember. Get, Toda gets cucked on a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Including Maybe Amiibo. Wario got to be a doctor. See, but that was funny. Rose just greedy. He's an American doctor. <laughs> Rose the American doctor. I mean, X. Um, Australian government seeks to classify all games with loot boxes as mature. Good. Fuck up. Yeah, yeah for real. Like oh, Toad actually did get to be a doctor. I'm okay, pretty good. sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll show you something crazy one because I think they also got rid of like everything like in most shooter games. Like if it had a loot box or whatever. Yeah. They didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like, I don't even. I'm not even for this for the sake of children's health, in any capacity. I just hope it forces companies to stop making loot boxes. Yeah, forces forces companies to stop doing crap because doing this will hopefully enlighten parents more as to what is available in games. For real. Therefore, they will these games will sell less well because parents will be less willing to buy them for their kids. Therefore, they have to stop doing it. That's the hope, anyway. That's why me and my homies support indie games, bro. But, you know, then again, 12-year-olds play Call of Duty all the time. So, yeah. I played Call of Duty buy all the time. I loot boxes anyways. What? What's uh, Fortnite currently rated? Can I get bumped up to mature? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's got loot boxes, then which it does. So. It just does. <laughs> so, hmm. be mature based on that alone. Can that be po- uh, bumped post launch? Yes, they Since bumped, a they bumped a GTA. Yeah, I mean oh, it's, it's, it's very rare, but the ESRB reserves the right to change the rating at any time. That's crazy. Good. Give them an M for mid. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Um, Microsoft filed a patent for a new Xbox One controller that features a touch screen on it. They're like, we you got that. True. The Wii U, Sony's PS4, Four and PS5 controller, controller, the Switch, all have touch screen. So, oh, so actually, correction: it is uh, the patent is by Turtle Beach, not from uh, not Microsoft, not Microsoft well, official. So for a Microsoft controller, but not Microsoft. Yeah. So essentially. That's an interesting figure here. I'll share this image with you guys. This looks quite interesting. Uh, it's essentially a Xbox controller with like a upside down beaker shape. That's a screen. It's certainly a choice. Yeah, I mean. Now that controller with what we all know Microsoft controllers have. Double A's! Actually, no, I think that one <laughs> might have actually not. It's, I mean, it's Turtle Beach, beach so it could be hey, whatever. Shit! Shit! Shit. Shit. Yeah, Shit. <laughs> you can't... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. The Turtle Beach, they'll be broke within uh, three months of using them, max. That's why me and my homies use Mad cat. He's having to think of the word. <laughs> no, he said it. He tried to come up with a different company and then defaulted <laughs> back. Yeah, he, he realized what he was going to say before he said, like, do I really want to say that I use mad cats? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this screen would be ex like, this would be expensive. I'd imagine for a controller. So, Unless there's something it's... here, like what are you gonna get with a screen and this price point that you couldn't just get with not a screen, but get get the Elite controller too? Like, I've my I've got a buddy that got that controller for I think his birthday last year or something, and like if you want a premium controller with a bunch of options, that's got you covered. It you can play around with RGB on the thing per profile if you want there's like three profiles and a whole bunch of different stick and button and paddle configurations and you can set the trigger travel distance to like four different levels and all this other crap so like what is this controller going to do that's going to be an expensive controller that simple it's very very simple over a elite two there instead of it having the whole beaker for um, the touchscreen area is going to be just the sliver that has um, the social media feed and whatnot. Oh, great. <laughs> also, uh, performance to tell you how bad you are compared to everyone else. Thanks, I already know. Yeah, that's called a KD. If I want to know, I can look it up in the game. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Why don't you like do like do something that is obviously missing, like haptics or something? Why? Uh, right. Chargeable batteries. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like they haven't done that. It's just an extra thirty dollars. <laughs> That's true. It is crazy how Microsoft has just been like, yeah, we're just going to sell the same controller from 2013, <laughs> essentially just slightly different. And it's, it's just different as enough. expensive as all the other systems controllers and does nothing that all the other controllers do. No yeah. haptics, no cool triggers. Like When when people are like, uh, you know, why, why are the Switch controllers so expensive? Look, Microsoft's and Sony's are 40, 50, it's like, they're, those are on sale, and Microsoft and has to put them on sale because there's nothing to the controller. Yeah. Also, you're buying double A's. Cameron's yelling at a controller. Wait, what I mean? I spaced out. Microsoft controllers suck. True. Like, they're not bad controllers. They will function just fine, but you're paying the same price you would pay for a DualSense or a set of Joy-Cons. 
maybe a little less than a set of joy cons but like around that price yeah the same price as a dual sense because so, you're not they're even half on the sale. stuff yeah for for no haptics no touchscreen no cool triggers no mic whatever else no nfc reader yeah don't forget the <laughs> don't forget the nfc reader that's the feature i'm paying for that's certainly the one i'm paying for um monster energy goes after an indie dev for using the word monster what? i think i read this Excuse highlight earlier today me? and i got up i just like didn't want to read it like what the hell <laughs> um Let's see. Stuff. This time, Monster Energy has decided to flex its muscle at indie developer Glowstick Entertainment, which has made a game called Dark Deception Monsters and Mortals. Oh yeah, Monster Energy Drink, Dark Deception Monsters and Mortals. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, they totally stole that. I see. I see clearly. I'm following. For real. Well, little copycats. Tell the teacher you copied off me, bro. Yeah, this is why gamers don't drink Monster, because Monster does stuff like this. This is why Monster's drunk by For fucking real. blue collar people. This is why Monster did a crossover with Apex, bro. This is why we need G Fuel. See, G Fuel is out here making pickle juice flavored energy drinks, and Monster's over here trying to sue people for using the word Monster. Buy G Fuel. G Fuel. I unironically please really, us. I really want that pickle juice. Please sponsor us. I, I might get it. I really want it. I don't think I can describe well enough how much I love pickles. You should do like the band does and just buy a jar of pickles and then make uh, pickle juice pops. Oh, yeah. Or do like what anybody does and buy a jar of pickles and consume it. Well, you could do both. Yeah. You could do both. I mean, why would I want to make pickle pops when I could just drink that shit straight out the jar, son? I'm a freak, <laughs> bro. I chug <laughs> pickle juice. Like, oh, man, it's so refreshing, too. Maybe that that's probably because I don't get enough electrolytes in my standard diet. But, man, pickles are so freaking good. Anyway, we talk talking about video games. Uh, <laughs> so, Star Wars Jedi Survivor got some hands-on previews. Uh, way more customization for Cal, BD-1, and the lightsaber. Um, you could also start the game with all of the skills from the first game. So that's cool. When does that I, game come I, out? Uh, date. Hold on. So, April the end of this month, yeah. yeah. It's the last big release before Tears of the Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No wait, Grant. No, 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 no. What? what um, I'm the one that was delayed. My mind's not working because I'm sick. The um, Advance Wars. Advance Wars is a huge title, Grant. It's gonna sell a billion copies. You joke, but it might. Um, uh. Sega released the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog for April Fools. I remember you put something in those messages like, "Hey, make sure you download it in case they take it away." I I downloaded it before. Uh, you don't have to download it; you just have to put it in your or, Steam yeah, library. Yeah, put it in the Steam light. I I did that. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> the trailer's interesting because they're like, we heard all of your demands and we have finally given it to you. Sonic is dead. <laughs> Crap, <Excellent. Raven. laughs> Sonic is dead. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, on to Collector's Corner, the normal weekly segment where we go around and talk about what games have been playing, what games have been buying, bad decisions. Encourage decisions, that that sort of thing. Um, let's see. 
Cameron, you go. No, Alex, you go first this week. Okay, I played RE4. Um, Fire Emblem Engage. How is Resident A little Evil bit. Yeah, it's really good. I run around with the stupid sunglasses from the deluxe edition all the time, so every cutscene has Leon with the stupid sunglasses. Nice. It's really funny in any dark area for him to be wearing them. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been running around collecting all the money I need so I can buy stupid weapons to kill all the enemies. Love that. Let's the so interestingly, and this is for the ones in the base game as well, but the deluxe edition had a couple different ones. The case, you get um you can change his case that like the original RE4 you carried around your briefcase thing with all for your inventory. You can change it, but it changes the perk you get, so like I've got it set to the gold one from the deluxe edition, so I get extra money. Okay. The one in the base game gives you extra handgun ammo. Interesting. So I'm having a great time. It's a little... I... The atmosphere's great. I don't think it's so far as scary as the other games though but that's more because you're not really being chased yeah it's kind of a different thing i think thing. Th i think the chase the enemy chasing you in the past four did a lot for their spookiness and yeah because you're chased by two things in um RE8, but after that, it's not really as scary once you're past those two chase scenes. Or not 4, 8, whatever. Um, I figure out. Yeah, um, I don't know. The DLC for Fire Emblem comes out tomorrow. So I've been waiting, kind of, so I can finish the ports. Because I'm like, I haven't gotten to really play. I mean, I have. I could have beaten the game now because I finally got to the point I could do the final map. But I was just like, eh, I'm so close to the final wave of DLC. I might as just well wait for them to release those characters. Yeah. Right. Um, I did go check out Inkopolis for Splatoon 3. Flatfast, even though I didn't get to join y'all, unfortunately. But I was happy to see it all lit up. Nice. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was interesting because um, I tried using Kali Mari um, for that, and they don't work if you're trying them in Ecopolis. They only work. Uh, in uh, Splatsville. But on the flip side of that, uh, for uh, Table Turf, you can fight the idols um, that are performing in the other city in uh, the one they're not performing in, which you normally can't do during uh, the Splatfest. That's cool. Nice. You should have made a video on that. I I don't have Kelly and Mari unlocked. Oh, okay. I I tried. I was I was not ready to uh, get both of them because it was they were level. I I think Mari is forty four. Dang, no. And I'm only like level thirty nine. It's a lot of grinding. I I didn't want to do it during the spot fest. The spot fest was already a lot of grinding. Because yeah. <clears throat> it makes a significant difference when we can't all play together. Yep. Sure. Uh, I do think that's everything, though, for this 
week. I don't know. It's just been a lot of work. But next week I have two days off. Let's go. <laughs> Finally. At long last. You're going to wake up that second day and be like, what do I Shit. do? Shit. Like, uh, I, got, I spent yesterday sleeping. And now I have another day. What do I do? Exactly. I'm so excited. I want that feeling of what do I do today? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cameron. Um. So obviously, I did the splat fest. Um, I did Alex's since he wasn't able to play, and then I did mine. Um. So it was a lot of Splatoon on this Friday and Saturday. Oh, yeah, awesome. What day did we play? It was a little much. the The insane thing is that, um, at least on Alex's, it's basically line, like in line with, um, the number of days that are left in the season, and depending on what they do, there's only one more event, uh, this season. So I don't know, uh, how close we're gonna get. Or how much closer we can get without, uh, you know, just continuously doing it and winning every day to get the points. It, it's we, we've discussed this before. It's too much of a grind. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I also finished and com I completed Hogwarts Legacy. Nice. Uh, I I did post about that in the chat, but. Um, I mentioned on the podcast. I, I completed Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, that is another grind. I don't recommend doing it, honestly. It's, it's uh, There's a lot of glitches that can happen. Um, I actually had one occur with mine, but it didn't matter. Um, just because of the fact that it wasn't... Uh, so, uh, Grant, since you haven't played it, uh, there's these things called Rebellio pages, mm -hmm. and um, they come in like three-ish uh, different forms. You either cast Rebellio and have them spawn. You um, see them uh, flying around, or you interact with uh, something and get it to spawn that way. Uh, like casting... Uh, one of the fire spells and uh on like a little uh I can't think of the word. It, it, like a brazer. Is that the word? Like the, the fire thing. Like where, where where you would have a fire set. I I I don't know what the word is. <laughs> uh even, even not sick, I wouldn't know what the word is. Um but uh so you, you get them, you know, to activate a couple of ways. Uh, and one of mine that was just flying around uh, didn't actually spawn in. Or it didn't count as having spawned in. So thankfully it wasn't one of the ones that was required for completion. Because otherwise I would have been upset. Um, Cameron people gives were awesome. official completionist rating of finish it. <laughs> finish it yeah. maybe play it play it play it finish it if you want don't it's not worth completing um it's too it the, the merlin trials alone make it too much of a grind honestly like the there were 90 of those but and i i think i've actually complained about this before uh, take take the Koroks, but add like actual effort and time into obtaining their Korok seeds. Great, great. I hated it. <laughs> um, I've also played uh, some Mario sixty four. Uh, I'm over a hundred stars now, so I'm I'm close. I I just had to finish TikTok clock. And uh, Rainbow Ride, and um, uh, the 
the red coin star for uh, Bowser 3. Uh, Alex, can we put him on suicide watch? Maybe. Oh, that sounds no, like you, a good you... mix for that. <laughs> Just those three All I gotta left, do yeah. is play TikTok clock. That You could stop there. <laughs> <laughs> you could stop there. Oh, uh, no. You should you should stop me uh, when I uh, had to play through uh, Red Coins Over the Rainbow. Ugh. That fucking sucked. I bet it did. Just but... rewind. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can rewind <laughs> on... Uh, the official collection. That's right. Just save state. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't even think you can do that in, in you the can. app. Um, I also did a little bit of um, Mario Three on GBA Online. Nice. And oh, uh, the um, amiibo. Uh, thirteen amiibo, Breath of the or uh, yeah, the big, Tears of the Kingdom the big bundle. BS thing yeah, was on Japan. Yeah, uh, I got charged ninety dollars for the amiibo, and it seems like that was only shipping. Uh, from what I can tell, anyways, ninety dollars shipping. Oh right, but it was yeah. like free, right? But it was like... free. Yeah. Um. So it balances out. Yeah, I remember you calling me about that yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, let's so now I'm just waiting for that to arrive. Um 13 amiibo for 90 is pretty good. Especially when a lot of them haven't been in print in forever. And one of them was 25 originally. Uh, Cooper. All right, so I actually played some games. Uh, so I played Splatoon Splatfest. Um, who won, by the way? Was it Alien? Nessie. We've Nessie got the won? yeah. We've got yeah, the, we won. We've got the result. We'll go over the results for later. Oh, let's go, bro. Apex wins again. Uh, but yeah. So I'm playing Did it ever win before? You can always win if you bet on the autistic person. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been playing a couple of Steam games. Uh, I've been playing Tricky Towers. I've been playing Labyrinthine. And then I tried I, I tried out and I this I was like, "Ooh, this is pretty good." So, I beat it and I beat uh The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's actually fire, bro. It's good. Mm-hmm. One, and like one of my favorite lines was Rouge going, um, "You just like to say things, don't you, Cooper?" Hmm. <laughs> I was like, "Oh." And then I've been playing a bit of Scribble Knots. I've beaten the main world, and I've done like all the things in the world. Now I have to just do the small quest things, and I'll a hundred percent Scribble Knots. Nice. It, it's not fun. It's not as fun as I remember. I think the nostalgia is like blinding me, because like the game is so repetitive. Because it's just it's like you're to play it all at once. It was a DS game. True. It's solve this guy's problem. All right, next world. Solve this guy's problem. And all right. Like, the game wants you to be creative, but then it goes. Hey, oh, but to... that doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, it's like, I need something to light up this room. I'm like, okay, have a lamp. I need something to light up this room. I don't know. I look up the wiki, give him a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> the the classic old uh, trope that point and clicks used to suffer with. It's like, dude, what the heck? Like, it, the game, like, it literally says we want you to be creative, but then... They didn't really punishes you for being creative. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, there's only so many words you can put in before um, it's no longer uh, appropriate for children. True. That's why the Wii U one was the best, where you could share. Yes, bro. Wii U was just so good, because like, 
all the Nintendo stuff that you could type in, like Mario and all that. That's true. Then we well, you had all the built-in Mario ones as, and Zelda stuff as well. And then the Switch one goes, eh, we got rid of that. Because it was ported to everything else at the same time. So lame. But yeah, like, I think it's the perfect game for your kids. But if but if you're past, like, 12 years old... No, it's a good puzzle game. You're just not supposed to play it as quickly as you played it. But, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It just gets very repetitive, I will say, so... Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad, but... I don't know. I remember it being a lot better on the Wii U. Maybe that's just because I had more fun with the creator stuff. Anyway. Is that it? That's about it. Yeah, I've just been okay. kind of chilling, dude. But you skipped been... Sonic. Did I? I talked a bit about it. No, I talked about it. I talked about it. Yeah. I, I, if you are able to play, if you got time to play Mario the Sonic the Hedgehog, definitely play it. I enjoyed it. Like, it's super short. It's only, like, maybe an hour and a half at most. And there's, like, settings to make the game easier if you need to. I didn't know that until after I beat it. So, mm. Also, make sure to save in between, like, every time you can. Because I didn't save, and then the game softlocked me in one of the little things. I was like, okay, let me reset real quick. I had to reset the whole game. It set me back an hour, and I was like, "All right." I quit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went. I, I literally sped ran because it's just you know, uh, it's essentially what do you call it? A um, point and click. A, it's no, a visual no, novel. A visual novel. Thank you. So I was just spamming the space bar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, uh, All right. Well, uh, I wanted to go last this week because it's my term on the shame seat um Uh-oh. i made bad decisions not i didn't do i didn't pull an alex like last week so what tone it down. F- only a couple things um so <laughs> i got some the almost all the rest of the game boy games i wanted in um nice. first i got a copy of super mario land 2 uh nice. the label is a little screwed up at the top but i don't care and it was like half as expensive or as it was half the price of like a what a good copy would look like so i was like ask for it because i don't really care that much anyway um i got a copy of kirby's dreamland essential um and also very cheap for game boy oh nice um and then very big one here metroid zero mission i finally got a really good deal on that i've been being patient and i played the ebay bidding game and came away really clean yeah so proud of that the uh i've beaten that game yeah i know i've got to i've still got to finish metroid fusion uh and then i'm gonna play Zero Mission, whenever I get around to it in my hyperfixation <laughs> One in order. I'm going to play four, and then I'll play one. Well, I've played most of four. I've just got to finish it. Um, Because I was trying to finish it, and then Dread came out. So that died on the vine. <laughs> um, Whoops. So, yeah, that's big. Um, And then the last one that will be in tomorrow... Uh, Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. So really oh, good. Yeah. With a pink cartridge uh, with a gyro in it. Yeah. The, the gyro before gyro. Yeah. Um, I think they could that game was that game's crazy expensive too. Like it's not super expensive, but like the going price was like seventy bucks. So I was like, ew, what the no, dude? It's Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. Uh, I think it's just because there's not as many copies of that. That that's my hypothesis, anyways. <laughs> like, I love Kirby and all, but it's Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. <laughs> I hate this. What is this? <laughs> I've got better suggestions. We'll we'll come back to that after the show. Um. 
But yeah, literally loose price for Kirby Tilt and Tumble seventy dollars right now. I'm pretty That's sure. way too That's much. Insane. Kirby it's Kirby Tilt and Tumble, dude. There like, aren't as many copies. That's the only reason. Yeah. So the the better there's not as many like, people selling. I like something is causing a support or like a, a low supply. Um, but I, I found a copy on a bid that had some Sharpie on it, which is easily fixable, uh, and was going for, I think like thirty or something, because of it. So got a good deal there too. That'll be here tomorrow. Uh, and nice. then I'm basically kind of gonna put a halt on a, on most of my retro collecting stuff, um, for a while with trying to get a house and things like that. I need to stop. Just being irresponsible hemorrhaging money yeah i'm not gonna Me cut too. myself off like i'm not going cold turkey um because that's the probably the easiest way to get me to end up spending a buttload of money after like a month so that's that's what uh chelsea and i say too yeah so like, we can't just buy like so. whatever like but essentially like i'm i'm not buying anything I mean, for a while, like, I've got the Breath of the Wild stuff that I needed to recoup from anyway. Um, or Tears Yeah, of there's a lot going on. I mean, and then in June, the Celeste Collector's Edition I pre-ordered will come out. Um, Forever ago, yeah. I like, I'll buy things on occasion or whatever, but I'm definitely not going to be trying to collect stuff like I am right now. Just kind of tone it down. No, that's a that's an after house problem. Yeah, once it gets my house though, it's back on. Um, yeah, then you'll have space for it too. Yeah, I know, right? Um, but anyway, in terms of what I played, I played a lot of Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I finally just got my. I found an Abra, got him. He evolved to Kadabra right before the show. So after the show, I'm gonna do a transfer, get right. him up to Kazam, yeah. and then break the game. Um. I've mostly it because like I forgot how uninvolved the old Pokemon games are. Like it's very straightforward, so it's almost as easy as a clicking game, like you know, like Adventure Capitalist or something. Yeah. Um. So it's really easy to play when I'm like just doing something else or like trying to do something else, like just on the side. So that's really how I've been playing it so much. It's just kind of like having it open as a thing and then barely even paying attention playing it while doing something else um i've also played all the games i showed so or i haven't played metroid fusion yet but i've played a lot of kirby's dreamland and mario land 2 um i've played kirby's pinball land i've played a little bit more oracle of seasons um I played ever so slightly more Breath of the Wild. Not very much. I did I did one shrine quest and then tried to do a second one and screwed it up and didn't want to have to wait another in-game day to try again, so I stopped. But I will do that. Um, I gotta beat Ganon soon anyway before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I don't want to beat okay. Ganon and then that game come out like the next week or whatever. Like I want to give myself a couple weeks of not playing any yeah, and obviously you can't go back to it after, because then you'll be too used to the new mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, other than that, it's mostly been a lot of GameCube stuff I've been playing the past couple of days. Um, Pikmin. No, I have not failed that mission yet. Um, but I will. <laughs> I will. Um, and uh, Luigi's Mansion and 007 Nightfire. Um, just kind of like all over the place, really. Playing a lot of GameCube stuff. Had it on the brain recently. Mm -hmm. um, and now <laughs> I feel I've completed my cringe fest. I have a GameCube available and ready to play at all of the three places in my house that I can play games at. <laughs> three separate ones. Mm -hmm. Excellent. 
and that's impressive because one of these game cubes is analog output only so i can't do hdmi with it uh and still it has a place so yeah i'm a uh, new kind of low life i guess i don't like i love gamecube i don't play it enough to warrant having three gamecubes hooked up at any given moment sure but, you do. but i do sure do I guess the re the real reason is I don't have anywhere to put the fucking things <laughs> besides besides having them hooked properly up. hooked yeah, up. Yeah, I don't have anywhere You're to put them. Gonna buy a giant house just to have GameCubes at the opposite ends of the house. Um, I don't want to walk to that one. That's why I have this one. Ah, oh, rope in your expectations of my house. I'm not that. I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna be that big of a house, um. But yeah, so all over the place, a lot of retro stuff. I think I'm trying to get a lot of retro gaming in. All of all of it's lining up to Tears of the Kingdom because I know when that game comes out, I'm gonna ignore a lot of things. Drop for a while. everything else. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get a lot of good retro gaming know. in, and uh, yeah, like eventually I'll beat Breath of the Wild a second time, and then once I think once I get really into tears of the kingdom i'm gonna be wanting to play modern games whenever i need a little break and my little break game is going to be mario kart 8 because i still haven't touched the new courses at all i don't know why i really haven't wanted to which doesn't make sense but then again i barely touched my switch at all in general um i so don't want to play stuff. with you anymore <laughs> so but i know once tears of the kingdom comes out and i'm gonna hyper fixate on my switch again and i get bored with zelda for 20 minutes i'll play mario kart and get incredibly frustrated i can't think of a better break game than mario kart yeah especially 200 cc yeah um oh and i reorganized my uh controller case that i have like the glass front wood box thing nice um so that's looking a lot better now uh, okay, that was a lot. I'm sorry. On to Fast Fay. What do we got, Cooper? Oh, crud. Um... <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so we got the Esco video, and it's canon because they did it a day late. It's not April Fool's. It was released on April 2nd. So we have a bunch of cheerleaders now. Canon. <laughs> We have a young banner coming soon. People are saying it's Rebecca, I think. But I'm not too sure. We'll see. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter what the rumor is, anyways. Yeah, for real. Only matters what the final say is. And then. I don't know if I already talked about this stuff on the uh, my special stuff. No, I did not. Okay, so Yuri is our legendary right now. He came out not too long ago. And he's going to be chilling for a little bit. And I think that's about it. Other than that, yeah. While we're waiting for the next seasonal banner. Nice. All right. Um, tidbits. All the Fire Emblem Engage Amiibo costumes can be obtained without Amiibo. All you have to do is max the Bond rank with each ring for every character. So 12 rings and 36 characters. Uh, so no you thanks. have to do 12 rings for each of the 36 characters? So each ring is... Maxing one ring with all 36 is one Amiibo costume. Mm. Or you could just tap that Amiibo get the costume. You don't even have to tap that Amiibo, right? You can just tap... No, you can one, just tap a Fire Emblem. One Fire Emblem Amiibo per day for 12 days. Which is still going to be... You can unlock it in the game by getting... Um, 36 times 12 times 3. Uh, 1,296 conversations. Gross. That's 
Hmm, let's see, which of these takes less time? The grind. The grind takes less time. Yeah, so... The only difference between... Uh... Oh. The, I, I had a point and it kind of went away. But I do hate that Nintendo is like, you don't have to get the Amiibo. You just have to listen to 2,000 conversations. I mean, if you love the game that much, though, why would you not have the Amiibo? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's so many uh, ways, like, I, you know, even people on r slash Amiibo are like, look at all my duplicates. I didn't even know they made, I didn't even know they made Zelda car, Amiibo cards. It's like, that's because they don't. They're fakes. But like, you know, casual people don't know that. So they'll just buy the Amiibo cards. I mean, they're still... Yeah, because they don't care about the they, damn they, still get they just want the thing in the game. They, they want the content. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's not like it's hard to get the content. I mean, literally, you could buy a 50-pack of blank NFC chips that, like, hotels use and then use the NFC rewrite on your phone, which is used for and, Samsung Pay or whatever. And just, and you just know, write the ones you whatever, want. Mayo literally whatever, did whatever that when Animal Crossing came out. He bought yeah. a big fat stack of blank white credit card looking things that just had NFC chips in them and a Sharpie and made all the Amiibo he needed. Like, I don't, you know, obviously I'm not going to do that approach because I've been collecting them since day one, but like it's not the worst option, especially when a lot of them haven't been restocked. In yeah, I mean, like, how many years as a retro guy, I'm glad that that option is available because that will be huge come 10 years from now when these aren't available. Like, it doesn't when matter the... to me because I have them. But there's so many things that I've been on the other end of that conversation where I don't have it, and now I'm not trying to spend a hundred dollars for this one thing, so yeah. I can just. I mean, there's it. also um, the fact that if something happens to the NFC chip and the figures, at least, you know, you, you don't have to the content, buy yeah. a new one. Yeah. That see, like, there's a there's a gray area for it. Ren would uh, buy one though. He bought two hundred dollar Mega Yarn Yoshi. <laughs> if one stopped working, he would buy it. Yeah, but this is camera we're talking about, not the general mass. Yeah. Like I like Chrono Trigger in general, but I do not like it enough to spend three hundred to six hundred dollars on a cartridge of it. So isn't it coming to NSO? Is, is it? it? I haven't I don't heard know. that. I, I, can't I wish remember. it would. I think it was room on the list of GBA rumor or leak, not rumors, but I don't think it's actually been like, officially confirmed. I enjoy Earthbound. I'm not going to pay nine hundred dollars for a card of it. Oh, absolutely not. So I'll just I'll just stick to playing it on an SD to SD. Yeah, I. The like my stickler thing is hardware, not really the cartridge. Like I'd prefer to play on the cartridge if I can, but if it's nine hundred dollars, I'll just use my SD to SNES and play it on my SNES. My favorite. It's not is... like you don't have official ways to play it. Do yeah, you... but I, if I want original hardware experience, I can do it with oh, yeah, no, $1, yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Like, but like if the if the argument comes down to legality, you have copies. Like. It's yeah. just the original legality schmegality. <laughs> uh, Minecraft vote update. April Fool's joke. So I was trying to find out on this because I saw. I know they do a April Fool's joke every year, which is always fun. Um. This year's was apparently called the Vote Update. Hmm. But. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, okay. So, if you look on, if you Google it and go to the Minecraft page, um... Cooper, go play it. We know you've really, like, got Minecraft installed. Features. Introduces voting. A way to change everything. Realistic voting action. No need to wait for the next Minecraft lie to get angry about other people's choices. <laughs> Revolutionary Jeez. meta voting technology for metaverse. Includes multiple new features too good to be included in mainstream releases up to now. Minimal chances of vote resulting a vote result destroying your world. <laughs> Exciting countdowns. Blocks. Yes for blocks. Items. Items for a better future. Technical changes. Very exciting. Bugs. Uh, bugs. Added multiple new bugs. <laughs> unless you hold the vote to decide they are features. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's how I program. Man, this is my favorite thing they added. Cheese generates on the moon, can be eaten, and is the first block that players can eat directly. The FAQ at the bottom of the page is my favorite. Uh, FAQ, what happens if I download the snapshot? After you download it, there is no turning back. If you delete the file, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You boot it up, you stay in the overworld, and we show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I.e. Matrix quote. Matrix. Uh, what can yeah, I expect yeah. in terms of gameplay? It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But I don't want to vote on things. I just want to relax. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. Look what banner they added in this update. Boo. <laughs> Among Us. Yes. <laughs> the French flag was added. <laughs> Moon cows ray tracing a humanoid mob. Can be spawned by activating the boat. Minecraft ray tracing. <laughs> oh. The way you said Among Us rung the memory of the video of that preacher that used Among Us to talk about a Bible verse. Oh, yeah. And if you read the text, it says the living God is Among Us. Is Among Us. That's That's going to go down in infamy. Um, <clears throat> Kirby and the Forgotten Land developer admits the final boss difficulty might have been a bit too steep. So I don't think he's talking about the main game final boss. I think he's talking about the bonus mode final boss. Hmm. Cooper, you awesome. remember, you know what boss I'm talking about? For what game, sorry? Kirby, Forgotten Dreamland, that special boss you and Haley be at the in the arena. It was undifficult. It was super difficult for no reason. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no. There was like no need. Huh. Um. My neighbors are now vacuuming above me. I can hear it. Great. I can't think Great. of a better time to vacuum. <laughs> 8.30 at night? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. Oh, vacuum man, I'm so, time. I'm so full from dinner. I wonder what I should do before bed. <laughs> vacuum. vacuum. <laughs> I hope my neighbors aren't sleeping. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before we move on from Minecraft, I'm looking at the wiki to see what's all in there. And they're not done. They're still updating it from it. But this makes me uncomfortable. So you oh, all no. get to be uncomfortable. What in the world? Uh huh. I mean, you can add a tail to the player model, but it could be worse. That silence was deafening. <laughs> it could be worse. Yeah, I mean, you could have a tail in real life. 
Some would say that it's better. We're moving on. <laughs> Di from Digital Foundry, The Last of Us Part 1, PC versus PS5. A disappointing port with big problems to address. Yeah, I uh, I asked my coworker. I mentioned this last week. I, I, I asked him how it was going. And he was like, yeah, they put out a like one patch already so it's not that bad like i haven't really had many problems with it but um i've seen that stuff like the way he gave the answer was like yeah okay it's not as good as i was hoping it was going to be but it's not terrible from a performance standpoint at least so shocker uh resident evil 4 remake Lily Gao, Ada Wong's new voice ast new voice actress, is being harassed. <laughs> what a headline! Uh, what do, what do we what do I what, what do we say? What do we uh? What, so, help, help me out here. Give me a lifeline. What do we say to this headline? Gamers <laughs> gonna be har harassing people. Yeah, my initial yeah, thought was like, wow, women are being harassed on the internet. That's a new one. Never heard that one before. And also, why? I don't yeah, think why this time specifically. I don't think Capcom should have her switched the voice actress, but I think in this case, it's just a qual. It's it, I don't understand. Well, I know some people have complaints. They think she's worse. As a voice actress, I'm upset really with Capcom that. changing the actress on this game. But Therefore, I don't get why you would go after the actress. Go bug Capcom. Go, yeah, go harass Capcom. Don't instead of harassing the person that made this decision, I'm gonna just harass the person that benefited from the decision, despite having no play in the decision itself. Great. Um. Hmm. Ark Survival evolved to ascend to PS5 in August. No upgrade path for existing owners. Cool. Okay. Also, very bold of you to use the word ascend when talking about not PC related information. So, by no upgrade path, they mean you have to buy the game again if you want it. Yeah. Like cool. Yep. Cool, because it was already worth, you know, five dollars. <laughs> now you can pay seventy. Uh, that game does not run well at all. Yes. Several PlayStation Studios are making games in Horizon Forbidden West's engine. And that good makes Great. sense. That makes out. sense. To re reuse reuse the engine while you can. Yeah, which is why we should get Mario well, Odyssey two. It will two be a Nintendo. long time for a game, but great. We'll see it when it gets released. I mean, not as long because what, they're I mean, reusing engine, but yeah, I don't blame them. I mean, this is what Tears of the Kingdom is. Nintendo said that yeah. was so good. I'm gonna do it again. And they looked at Odyssey it. went, nah, <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. This is a masterpiece. We are, look in this engine. Horses can't run into trees because they can't run into trees in real life. Let's just read. <laughs> I still can't believe that was like one of the news things. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. We're waiting forever for anything, and he's like, "Hello, horses can't run into trees. You're all welcome." <laughs> Uh, uh, Live Alive is coming to Steam and PlayStation April 27th. Yeah, that, that makes sense. My thing. Cool. Uh, from DF Retro, E3 2002 ki time capsule never before seen show floor footage. Just like wa of someone walking around at the Let's see here. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. I didn't. Okay, so they have. Uh, so it's like an hour long video they put up here. It's the guy from um, Digital Foundry, obviously, because it's on Digital Foundry's YouTube channel. But also, they have My Life in Gaming on there, and they're like all watching it together and commenting on it. That's cool. Shouts out to My Life in Gaming. I freaking love that YouTube channel. That is like, oh my god, I wish I could be on that show. It's one of those kinds of YouTube channels. Um, Roblox will hide ads for users 13 and under. Yeah, good. Can we delay the onset of uh, ads? Ad yeah, advertisement. For and this hysteria. game that I'm paying for? <laughs> yeah. that's uh, Only if you're under 13, though. <laughs> People back in our time changing day to be older. People now, I'm gonna be under 13. <laughs> Yeah, like, hmm, are you old enough to stand up to this barrage of information? No? Okay. And I love how, like, 13 is the line. Okay, so if you're 14, we're going to vomit ads at you all day. But if you're 13, no. Right. Like, that's okay. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 has gone gold. We learned from Cyberpunk that this means nothing. <laughs> Damn. So who cares? Because it's probably busted. So that means it must be coming out soon. Yeah, June 22nd. Damn, I didn't realize it was going to be that close. Uh, Persona Super Live 2022 Blu-ray and CD live stream announced for April 9th. What does that mean? So, last year they had a concert. I forgot to put the other part because I'm not fully thinking. The rest of the announcement was something might be revealed. Ooh! And that's what we're actually interested in on the show is the something that might be revealed. Cool. Ooh, something might be revealed. <laughs> Tell me where I'm wrong, though. <clears throat> First party Xbox game Quantum Break is leaving Game Pass. Will return eventually. Oh no, Quantum Break. I just think it's funny that a first party game is leaving Game Pass, though. Oh yeah, isn't it great? This is great. Uh I remember Quantum Break. What were the reviews on that game? Sixty six percent on Metacritic. Five point eight user score. Huh. So not 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 great. Pretty bad. Um, Saudi Arabia pumps thirty eight billion dollars into video game development. I saw this headline. I was like, we gotta have what, what? What is this headline? Again, another one. What is this headline? Um, I love that this article starts off with a statement. Saudi Arabia produces eleven million barrels of oil today oil a day, and zero video games. But that ratio could soon change. What ratio? 11 million barrels That's to one video game? <laughs> That's not a ratio. The country's public investment fund will, f will funnel $38 billion into its esports subsidiary Savvy Gaming Group to turn the company into a studio that develops and publishes video games. I good grief. Um, also, the next section title in the article just says Saudi Arabia has entered the game. I guess that's a joke on multiplayer, but it reads like it's just stupid. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, oil drilling simulator coming soon. Extreme domestic terrorism coming soon. Yay. The game. <laughs> 
Allahu Akbar coming to PS5? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I... You think they'd put a little more money into stopping terrorism first? Okay. No. Yeah. Uh, and me saying that made me realize that I don't want to talk about that anymore. Uh, yeah, Spl- we're going to get banned on YouTube for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Splatoon, Splatfest winner decided. N- Nessie barely scrapes by with a 30 to 15 to 12 win because of Tricolor's 18 points. So, yeah, Nessie's the winner of the Splatfest. Woo. Let's go. I think Yay. Cooper and I did one tricolor battle. Uh, it was against Nessie because uh, the the fun fact about the Splatfest is that uh, Bigfoot had eight point six nine percent of the vote. Oh yeah, yeah. So what we've learned is that Splatoon is half autistic apex players and half drunk scots that see things <laughs> they saw that hand in the water and went that that's a monster a gigantic monster <laughs> Why, give me another beer <laughs> go look at the original <laughs> yeah i know i i love that photo it's literally just someone doing that <laughs> it's literally <laughs> oh my gosh that's why I love the documentaries about it because they always show that photo <laughs> oh, they're like Jesus look anymore. like look I, 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 there's something there <laughs> it's, me, it's me I was under the water <laughs> it's actually great he went back in time to, <laughs> to, to, to make it happen so he, he could enjoy it in his younger years <laughs> Uh, uh, Pokemon Stadium is available on Nintendo Switch Online on f- April 12th, so next Wednesday. Let's go. Um, I feel like they don't normally announce it a week prior. That's weird. Yeah, it feels a little early, but whatever. It's Pokemon. Things are not going to be normal. That's true. Um, Disney Dreamlight Valley has a bunch of Twitch drops that you can get. If you're into that sort of thing. Uh, Haley and Chelsea. Yeah. Um, There's Gamer Mickey Ears, which is just the Mickey Ears with RGB on them. A Gamer Chair, which is a gamer chair Chair with with RGB RGB on it. it. There's a Gamer Laptop, which is a laptop with (laughs) RGB on it. it. And a hoodie. A comfy gamer which is just a hoodie with RGB on it. (laughs) Uh, Perfect. Now, they nailed I, the gamer aesthetic. Though. RGB. As I said when Cameron posted this, there's no toilet chair, so I'm not interested. Cut. Try again later. <laughs> now, toilet chair with RGB. Now you're talking. Uh, gamer night- toilet. Gamer toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the brand name. I saw uh, a video of some guy that built a gaming PC in his toilet. Like, the tank. Yeah, I, th- of... I think you mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, he made it out of, like, uh, acrylic or something. And then just made the tank portion, like, half of the size of the actual tank. And then the other half, he made it, like, dry and put a gaming PC in there. I can't think of a better thing. Uh, Night Trap has come into Game Boy Advance. But only the FMV video, from what I can, from what I understand. So if wait, I thought yeah, this was an April Fool's joke. Is this real? That's real. I saw this on April first. Went, ha! Huh, that's because they announced joke. it on April first. But it's real. They were selling it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I mean, uh, limited run. There's a lot of things, now, but they're but... not going to like not sell it it's real here's the here's the actual link to the actual page um yeah so four companies celebrated april fool's day this year there, there weren't a lot of good ones but i'm it, gonna sit there horse thing and three of them were real <laughs> but it's stupid because it's not actually night trap it's just the video and if i'm gonna watch the video i'll watch it on youtube 
Yeah. So kind of April Fool's, kind of not. So if you want to waste money, it's an April Fool's on your wallet. <laughs> yeah. If you want to waste money, well, too bad it's already sold out. Uh, or they stopped taking pre-orders, but yeah, I'm s- upset. What if I wanted something stupid on my shelf? I haven't bought anything that stupid in a while. So. Pause. What? If you want something stupid on your shelf, buy this. I have that. I already, yeah, that's I already have Then why are you asking the question? Well, because I didn't buy that. Then buy I it. I did. I bought it at launch. Me too. This game blows. This game blows. Uh... It's worse than I thought. <laughs> um, Game Pass is now offered with a f- friends and family flavor. So it's uh, 40 bucks a month. It's so five people. Yeah, five people, including outside of your household. That's good. So just a general family plan. But uh, you get five accounts for it, which I mean, if you can get three people on that, you're saving money. True. Now, do I know three people that play Xbox? No. 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 Not enough to warrant forty dollars a month. And that includes myself. I have an Xbox. Why you did would I not warrant forty dollars a month? Why did I buy that damn thing? <laughs> that's that's that what thing? I asked. You wanted one. Why did and I want? Why? 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 Why did I want that? I mean, look, look. If it makes you feel better, that's the same feeling I have with my Xbox One, and I, that was one of the first things I bought after getting a job. It just sits there. It just sits there. It stares at me. Look, you you know what the I mean. I played Sunset Overdrive on it. Yeah, and then okay, it what, sat unused. <laughs> yeah, so I might as well have been. Uh, uh, and I, then I was playing Back to the Future before I left on it. That doesn't count. That's recent. The The most recent things have been Among Us and Back to the Future. Wait, played. wasn't Back to the Future for 360? No, it was... <laughs> So the original, yes, but I own the 30th anniversary edition. I see. And I didn't want to pay over $100 for the PS4 copy. The I better one? Like, I paid like $30 to get the game. Amazing. Because nobody buys Xbox. Wow, we figured it out. Excellent. Um, Nintendo and their mobile games partner, DNA, create... Nintendo Systems website. Oh yeah, so they're making a company essentially just called Nintendo Systems. Yeah. Um. Great. Right. Funny. Cool. It fits Nintendo's naming convention. Yeah. Um. Okay. Old but still interesting tidbit brought by Cooper this week. Uh, Kirby Sorry. is the only character that can taunt in Elite Smash. Because that's how you get rid of his abilities. I mean, if you count in Cinewar as a ta- taunts after attack, but no one counts. That, that. doesn't that's count. So that doesn't count. That's not. You can't push the button. You can't press. The I, I can't. Though. I can't push the D pad like this and cause it to happen. Exactly. That's why Kirby's the best. That's why you should main Yuki. Kirby. No, Steve. I don't know, dude. There's so no. many competitives that are banning Steve. Skill issues all around. It's because he literally has the thing. He can literally do something where he can't take damage. Just attack him. Skill issue. Lol. Skill yeah. issue. Skill issue. That's all I'm hearing. Lots of them. Um. Onto the rumors, uh, Nintendo is sending out Switch due development kits. Can I get one? No, you want to give me one? <laughs> Nintendo. No, you don't want a dev kit. Dev kits suck. As a represent- but they have special Joy Cons. As a representative, uh, rep- rep- representative. 
That's how. <laughs> that's that's what he said. As a as a rep for A and G, I think we should get. One. You're you're not the representative. Representative a, representative yeah. of uh, yeah, Ang. Representative. I'm a represent rep. I can't even. No, I am. Uh, I'm a representative. No, I'm a Saran rep. Yeah. Cooper, I, Cooper would be boy. the last. Cooper would be the last choice for the representative to Nintendo. You would pick Kyle over me. Yeah. <laughs> What's that smile? What the? Heck? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Wait, I mean, the choice. Wait, send Cooper on the shit that we know we don't want. Uh. And then we'd get uh, it. Fortnite, uh, <laughs> loop, I guess. No, wait, no, actually, no. They have money. They have money. Uh, I, I, I would do, I would do a Fortnite sponsorship if they paid us enough. This is why everybody on the internet is soulless because we're like, fuck Fortnite. <laughs> but they have money, so but they have you money. Pay me. Have money. I love like, Fortnite. Uh, every, I'll everyone... lie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll, uh, I'll change uh, up right now. How much, how much do you think Scott got paid? <laughs> Ray, Ray Shadow, Shadow Legend. Legend. <laughs> Like, cause think about it, right? Everyone else was doing like maybe two minutes max. Scott did an eight minute video. I'm pretty sure he got paid well. Oh yeah. I would hope he got paid well. Uh, Where's our Ray Cheddar Legend sponsor? I don't feel like they do it anymore. They've got so many people playing it. They don't need it. Yeah, it's kind of like how Candy Crush doesn't need to advertise anymore. Facts. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Story DLC may release before July 29th. Why is why that date? Is that the original date? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. There's a soundtrack coming out soon oh music yeah from one two and three and all the dlc for um the two games and you know for two and three's dlc and future connected for one like they're going really crazy with all the music so obviously the final wave needs to be released before the dlc or before the soundtrack comes out mm-hmm and we have, and that's the soundtrack's date. It's like two hundred dollars, though. Dang. Um. And okay, hold on to your britches for this rumor. Miyamoto says to watch for Mario game news in a future Nintendo Direct. Wow, stunning. Hey, Nintendo. Might talk about Mario in a direct. Amazing. When I don't know, but one of them at some point. Yeah, it's the it's just the usual crap. Of, like, this feels like the same thing from a couple weeks ago when we were talking about some interview they had with Bowser. Um. But yeah, he said. Uh, I can't say anything in advance, but we have Nintendo Directs every two or three months, so please look forward to those. Oh, yeah. So, basically the answer is, like, a not my problem. I don't do the release. So. <laughs> um. So, yeah, crazy rumor. I know. Crazy. Super insane. I can't. <laughs> um, and finishing topic for today. Should special edition consoles come with the game? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if Among Us does it, any company can do it. And if it doesn't come with the game... Don't then charge why? as if it does come with the game. That's what's so stupid. Nintendo yeah, that, loves doing this. Yeah, they, they're they doing with the Zelda Switch. They just did it with the 
Splatoon Switch in August. Yeah. Like, and the Pokemon Switch. And the Pokemon Switch. Yeah. Like, I mean, that one. Uh, that one's a little harder since it would technically have to come with two games, but like. It, <laughs> It would not. They don't be very even hard give us a. a, find they, a way to they don't even give us a. There. They don't even give us a demo game anymore. So like, yeah. I mean, not that I want eight thousand copies of uh, One Two Switch, but like, One Two Switch some, would be a lot of... better of a game if it was a free tech demo instead of a fifty dollar release. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. But like, I don't know if I'd want that with every single Switch purchase. Yes, you would. <laughs> Uh, but no, like, if you're gonna have a special edition console, especially consoles, and it has, like, a very slick design and all that, especially, like, the Smash, did that come with Smash? No. Smash yes, came? Smash came they with Smash. It? Yes. Okay, that one Is that so because cool. they basically saved money because the design was literally just lines on the Joy-Con? But you gotta remember the dock, which the did dock? have Smash the characters. Dock, the dock, yeah, that... Yeah, the dock the, was cool, but that doesn't. That's there's two different points. Yeah, true. Yeah, if the Joy-Con is lines. If you're traveling, <laughs> it's like, bro, what the hell did you put on your Joy-Con? Huh? The right one's cool. The left one's hilarious. <laughs> One line. Amazing. But so, I'm trying to think. So, like the Pokemon 3DS I have did not come with the game. Yeah. yeah. The, Zelda 3DS. Most, and, most and the 3DS Zelda one I'm have. about to... The Zelda Switch that I want will not come with the game. I think that's lame. I think I don't think they would lose out on that much money where it would matter. I really don't see... Like, there's two ways. Either include it with... Like, include the game and or price it appropriately. Give it a voucher. Like, or don't include the game but don't charge if it th that's what pisses me off is if you're if i have to pay more for this because of some upcharge? fancy plastic color yeah. and there's still no game like why why am i paying extra? isn't the zelda oled though the same price as the OLED? no no it's like no. ten dollars more like it seems small but like it really is like mm. Yeah, like the OLED price is three fifty, but the all the sp special edition Swoleds have been three sixty or three seventy. Yeah, because yeah, it, it it ends up being about four hundred after tax. So I kind of like the idea that they sell two versions, but then I think the general public would be too confused. Yeah, if I was a grandma buying a console for my kid, I'd be like. The uh, more expensive one's gotta be better. Yeah. I mean, then you would get the game, so yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't I mean, think it would be just like that, though, Cameron. I think it would be more like, why does that one say four seventy and that one only say four hundred? Well, because that one includes the game. Then you gotta make like a big like sticker on it or something. And then you accidentally forget the game because you're packing basically the same boxes. And... Because you're packing, or... yeah. Okay, yeah. So how do um, you just include the game digitally? Some that that's also, what Odyssey did. If you've got one that's four hundred and you've got one that's four seventy, one includes the game, one doesn't. If you buy the wrong one, well, if you bought you're the not more expensive money. one. And like you didn't know why, then you're stupid. Like that, shame on you. You deserve to lose that extra seventy dollars. Read something for once. And if you did, if you bought the cheaper one, and turns out they you needed the game, game too, then guess what? You can buy the game. So it works out, yeah. Like I don't really, I don't really think we have to mandate that all special edition consoles come with the game, but don't price it. Just don't make it more expensive. Like, so that way, like, if I want the game, then I great. If I don't, then I'm not penalized for wanting a special edition that I don't want the game for. Don't ask me why I want a special edition of a console that I don't care about the game. <laughs> Fortnite Joy-Cons, Cameron. I didn't buy those. 
I mean, you yeah. got close. You got close. I mean, I, I was, I'll stand with Cameron here. I did too. I got very close multiple times. Like, but I was like, no. yeah. Now they're not available. Now they're the only is... retail Joy Cons that I don't have. It's a lot easier to not do crack if there's no crack around you. True. <laughs> now the game is only like seven dollars, but. You know, like the Fire Emblem Special Edition, it still came with the game and like had all this cool stuff with it. The anniversary one. And I think yeah, but that didn't. That wasn't a console though. Yeah, it was oh, just a collector's edition. Just consoles. I was just the collector's about... edition's better come with the game. I know. Yeah, if the collector's uh, edition, that's that's that obvious. Too, if the collector's edition like, doesn't come with the game, well, no, I'm not buying it. <laughs> should collector's editions come with physical versions or digital ones? If possible, physical. I think it should be physical, but Microsoft and Sony are both selling a digital only console. Yeah. Like, because like even Nintendo, like like I said with the Fire Emblem, that was digital. But Among Us, that was, they those weren't were selling physical, physical copies of Fire Emblem. Though. Exactly, exactly. Like it depends. Like if it's it should have had game. one, but it was digital only. So I. Still hate it, but I am a little more on board. They have a good argument, at least, yeah. Um, like with Among Us, though, like every special edition they did, all physical, like it was like the perfect collector's edition, bro. And that blanket they have with it, so soft. I sleep with it every night. So let me let me pose this. You're right. My like, there's digital only consoles out there, but. The person to that would buy a digital console, and a person that would buy a, a collector's edition, edition of a game, especially that that especially that the Bob Tony. Much. Yeah, that's no, I can't. I can't imagine. Like, I feel like the only people that would uh, sacrifice getting a disc drive early on, like to be an early adopter. That's the only way those circles overlap. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are like, I saved a hundred bucks, and I'm like, not in games, <laughs> not not on a hard drive, not on storage. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. Say. I mean, not that I it mean, really matters. Cause not that it matters. Not yeah, I, that doesn't. The but, only benefit like, now is just the price, really, and the yeah, because the sales are significantly better, um, in person. I mean, because like my other buddy named alex that's up here he got a ps5 a little bit after launch because he like lucked into one and it was a disc drive version but he doesn't own a single ps5 disc game like but he has the option yeah but he will never use it sure like i i and that (laughs) it's really hard for me to understand that sometimes yeah like why but i just like you know he just doesn't care so like a lot of people just don't care. Mm-hmm. So in that regard, only... like, let the collector's edition come with the physical a, a copy of the game because people that don't care aren't going to buy it in the first place. Exactly. That's true. Is, is the PS5 even a uh, DVD player? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, it is? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, it plays 4K yeah. Blu-rays and stuff. Okay, so they, okay. They literally sell a TV remote as an accessory. Oh, for real? Yeah, you can make yeah. it into your own oh, cool. Fire TV or whatever, but Sony flavor. <laughs> yeah, no, I think digital. It it dep- it, it really does depend. If I, I do like physical, if possible, on most scenarios, but you know, with a lot of com- especially Xbox and P- PlayStation, like Alex was saying, they kind of forced to do digital only if they want all consumer. But, you know, but it doesn't matter what they do. It's not going to get the consumers that buy digital stuff anyway. They don't care. You don't they just want exactly. the game. They just want the game. They just want the game. Like, uh... and if on the off chance someone does want, like, someone is so obsessed about this game that they want the collector's edition, and they can't play it because they have a digital only console, then they'll probably love it enough to buy it anyway. That's true. That's true. 
because like sure they can't play the game on the disc but it's another display piece now like with the rest of it and they can keep it sealed if they want because they don't need it like i just don't really see a much of a good argument to make it digital only digital that's the whole point it's for the people that get, like really care about something or and are willing to spend a bunch of money on this junk and some people are like uh i remember uh there was a post in r slash gaming i think a couple of years ago the guy had like every gta or halo or you know what you know one of those series that comes out with a bunch of collector's editions i think it was halo um floor to ceiling just in boxes and in, in their collector's edition boxes floor to ceiling like not on display or anything just you know buying them for a second buying them like i i think at this point the big companies know what uh their market looks like for these so going after uh, a digital only side because it makes them slightly more money is a uh, short sighted. Yeah, I think I think what happens is that like that idea of where like people that are people that care are going to buy it anyway. If you flip that around, they're going to buy it anyway. So why not make it digital and save some money? Because now we don't have to make a bunch of physical copies for these collector's editions. Like we can increase our margin on these collector's editions because they're going to buy it anyway. Which I think, sucks. I think that's the argument uh, for the games that are doing uh, collector's editions with no game. Um, yeah, even like, if, like yeah, again, they're going to buy it anyway. Because I was thinking, like, uh, Xenoblade 3 kind of did that, but, like, also not really. It was supposed to release with the game. Um, but that's the only one where it's, like, you know, that that's a unique case. The other games, I can't, I can't even think of which one it was, but it was, like, $200 collector edition. Did not come with a game. That's just stuff at that point. Yeah, this discussion is basically just put that clip of Scott the Waz in my brain that's like, modern gaming. Something <laughs> stinks. It stinks. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us here this week. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please share us with a friend. We post every Wednesday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube.com slash Stormwind Games. Anywhere that you listen to podcasts, you can find us. Add us on Twitter at Online Gamers with a K. Uh, do you think special edition consoles should come with the game? Do you think collector's editions should come with the game? Are you upset about E3 being canceled? Let us know, and uh, we'll see you back next week for more of the same stuff. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.